Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video I am recreating a version of the famous Kendall Jenner tool dress. I found this version online and really liked the way it was hemmed at the bottom and therefore recreated this part too. The fabric that I used were old primer curtains that I no longer needed. I had about 1.5 meters by 2 meters and it is not stretchy. Firstly, I cut out some of my patterns on leftover lining. I decided to do a sweetheart bustier for the underdress. I described these in more detail on my DIY bustier summer dress video. I then took a dress that I already own as reference for the skirt part. I sewed all pieces together and added an invisible zipper for the closure. I used two layers for the bustier. My underdress then looked like this. I had to add more fabric through the center of the skirt as it was too tight. Next I cut out the pieces for the outer layers. I cut out long rectangles of fabric. Luckily my curtains had some hems already so I tried to keep as much of these as I could. As you can see the curtains were already shredded to bits. This is because I needed several attempts for this DIY. I took the unhemmed rectangles and pinned them so that the raw edge would be folded inside. To make it easier to sew this down, I ironed the hem first. I then sewed the hem down which ended up looking like this. To achieve the very puffy and ruffled effect, I cut out more rectangles and sewed them to the other rectangles. I also sewed all my rectangles to loops. I sewed the rectangle pieces right sides together. I also cut off any excess seam allowance. At this stage I had three long and hemmed rectangles at three different heights as well as the underdress. Next I sewed a basting stitch along all three loops with my machine on the highest stitch setting. I put the loops around my waist and pulled on the thread until they roughly fit my waist. I then layered all three pieces with the right sides out. I sewed a piece of elastic and all three layers together with a zigzag stitch whilst stretching the fabric. And finished was the outer skirt. For the upper part I cut out three more rectangles. I hemmed those using the same method as for the skirt. Once I had all three rectangles ready, I also sewed a basting stitch all along the edges. I ruffled them up and cut a piece of elastic to fit my waist. I sewed the ruffles onto the elastic using a zigzag stitch and again making sure the fabric is slightly longer than the elastic. I rolled in the side edges and pinned and sewed them onto the inner dress along the zipper. I then tried on the dress and draped and pinned the layers onto the bodice. I then sewed along the areas that I pinned.
Next, I cut a little opening into the back of my outer skirt. I folded in the raw edges and pinned and sewed these along the zipper. I then folded both elastic bands right sides together and sew them together with a zigzag stitch. To create a waistband, I took the leftover fabric and cut out one long strip which would fit my waist. I folded the raw edges inside and folded the waistband in half. I ironed the band and sewed it shut. Lastly, I attached the waistband to the back of the dress and finished is the recreation of the incredible tool dress. And here is the final result. It was a lot of work and occasionally messy, however, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I don't think I will ever have an occasion that I could wear this to, however it is just fun to have it regardless. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe for more DIY videos.